get to know people, you start to get, get to know some friends and, and things grow from there, you know, it, it's like an, a network within, within there. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you, get, you get to know your friends from uni, you, you go out with them, you see other friends, like, that's how you build uh, your network. And, and within that, like, wine is always a center point within people at, at, at the university, mm -hmm. there, you all go to wine tastings, day trips to Barossa Valley, etc, etc. At, at the end, of, what I would love to do is, uh, I'd still love to be involved within hospitality, but, but also with, with the winemaking work. I want to do consultancy uh, for that, have my own consulting uh, agency, as, as well for restaurants, as for vineyards. Mm -hmm. is that, and that, that is my art, to, to bring those two worlds together and uh, be, being a sommelier at heart. Um, there is such a thing as the Australian uh, Guild of Sommeliers, but it's very small. It's it's mostly based in Melbourne and Sydney, and we're starting trying to start up uh, a South Australian chapter mm -hmm. of that uh, part, which I might play a play a pivotal role in uh, myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so just trying to get that sommelier uh, profession uh, mm -hmm. on a higher standard right. in in Australia. Right. That, that's a hard one. Uh, like the, the Australian life, we'll, we'll go from day to day, go, mm -hmm. um, whatever, whatever comes on our path, but um, hopefully I would have finished my degree, put that up on the wall. Mm -hmm. Hopefully there'll be a little bit of dust on it as well, so it's been there for a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope to be into my uh, MW uh, for a little bit then, because it's getting close to that 40, uh, 40 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Quite a different program, isn't it? Yes. It's it's uh, um, it's it's not is that uh, an academic? It's not considered as an academic program, is it? Yeah, it's a qualification. It's a qualification. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. But it's very sensory based, yeah. um, in the sense that it's very yeah, sensory based with lots of wine tasting and knowledge involved there. As far as my knowledge goes, it's not as business management orientated as ours is. I mean, our role is maybe go back to that is what type of graduate do we put out in the market and that's somebody able to run a wine company basically now, i'm not sure i don't want to knock them mm -hmm. that that is what they put out in the market they put people who are really experts on wine styles and wine sensory aspects out in the market and that's important mm -hmm. so we're looking for somebody who like christian could go back to chile and he'll run a wine company tomorrow i'll tell you that he has the skills he can be ceo tomorrow because his basic background is winemaking, now he's got the business skills. And he'd make a very good CEO of that guy, um, to use an example, somebody who you do know. Um, so I think there is a big difference. Mm -hmm. uh, we teach more strategic uh, management orientated aspects and they teach more the technical side of the industry, which is very important. Yeah. You can't be everything, mm -hmm. no. you know, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but for example, international orientation, um, the mostly the, the courses of the W set, with the diploma course in the end, sure. gives uh, international orientation about right. uh, the right. international market and that, that's quite, right. quite profound. That's right. Yes. I but mean, uh, let me say the, the, the reputation of Master of Wine, uh, not a lot of people uh, get... It's excellent. Gets excellent, mm -hmm. it's but excellent. But the reputation is excellent. Mm -hmm. And even a Master of Wine can, can manage a company, oh, yeah, for example, Pure Rep in New Zealand. I'm not yeah. denying that. It's yeah. mm. But I mean, you know, different people can manage a wine company. As you know, some people will argue a chartered accountant is just the right person to manage a wine company. Mm -hmm. It's about finance, but mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah. it's always an interesting one. That. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're, uh, we're, we're pretty concerned uh, with the, uh, the global economy um, and what's happening everywhere. Um, we, we see the, um, um, well we certainly see the, uh, the UK, Ireland, Europe as, a, as, a, as a, a, an area where we've uh, got to hold what we've got. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily going to grow all that much, 
mm-hmm. uh, which, which is of course of our, our interest in China, where we think there is uh, potential for, for a lot of growth. Mm-hmm. But we certainly see the uh, see the uh, um, UK island and uh, Europe as a as a an area where we've got to uh, maintain our presence and uh, and hold our, our market share. Which are the people that uh, that originally acquired the rootstock? Mm-hmm. Uh, they acquired it from uh, Spain on the understanding it was Alberino. Yeah. Uh, Alberino has done very well in Australia. It grows very well. It produces very good wine. Mm-hmm. But um, it would appear that it's not Alberino. It's Sauvignon. So, so it's against the law, the It's against the law to continue to sell it as uh, Alberino, and mm-hmm. we're we're taking action there. Um, but they they are also uh, the, the people that are producing. Uh, Alberino at the moment are looking at what they're going to call it. Hmm. I read some articles that they want to have an, some kind of a, a timetable to you know. a moratorium. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we can't do that. I mean, the law is the law. The law says that you've got to label wine correctly, and we have to uphold that. But what does it mean? Uh, the what? What does that mean? Yes, it means, means that you, don't, you may use to, uh, the word Alberino anymore. You, you can't um, on anything produced from now on. Um, what's produced in the past we uh, was 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 labelled correctly at the time because it's what people thought it was. Mm-hmm. Um, so they, they, it's, under our law, it's got to be an intentional breach. Mm-hmm. So you, it, mm-hmm. it's against the law to intentionally label something that it's not. So, for example, I, if I have now a uh, winery, if I now have my cases of Alberino in the cellar door, you, 2008, you can't label it as Alberino. But it's there. But it's not Alberino.